Greetings, good people of YouTube. Um, I felt like making a fun little video uh, about my new case, which I uh, yeah, built myself a few weeks ago. Um, it's quite a fun little project. My first uh, proper woodworking project, unless you count guitar modifications. Um, but I mean, I am a machinist, so it's not like a big thing for me or anything. Um, but yeah, it was a fun project. Um, I uh, bought most of the parts from Modular Synth Lab in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, cool company, can recommend them. Parts are great. Um, and the design I kind of was inspired by uh, Too Many Synths.nl, so um, another Dutch uh, modular company. Uh, they make really nice stuff, and I kind of felt that, yeah, I liked the designs, but wanted to change them a little bit to be my own. Um, and I'm a big fan of doing DIY stuff, so that's why I didn't buy one. Um, and yeah, basically I um, just changed a few of the uh, angles of uh, how the modules are arranged. And um, I also put like a little bit at the back that sticks out to add a little more stability because I wasn't sure when you're patching the, the top there whether it would push the whole thing over a little bit or, or something so yeah um, and I had the room there to do that um, on my desk so it was no problem um, yeah it was um, <laughs> quite a task because I um, don't have a CNC milling machine or anything like that I did everything with good old-fashioned uh, pencil and ruler and a manual milling machine which meant lining up every angled cut by hand and cutting it and then unclamping it and doing it again um, yeah almost a stupid amount of work but hey um, it was fun um, yeah and yeah it's just plywood which I ordered online and uh, stained it and oiled it and I must say I'm pretty happy with the result um, there are a few parts in there which I also built myself like for example the rail ends um, I could have bought them, but it's like, again, I'm a machinist, so just made them. Um, yeah, um, and obviously, it, uh, as you can see, it has uh, LED lighting in it, um, which I set up myself. That's all controlled with a dip for A1973 uh, module, a great wee module, <laughs> a lot of fun. And um, Yes, I know that the LEDs are on the inside, and when I fill it up with modules, you won't really be able to see it anymore, except for a few <laughs> lights coming through the cracks. Um, but this is sort of, uh, there, there's a couple of reasons behind this. One is, it's, um, I mean, I think it looks cool. Um, uh, but also, I'm sort of hoping it's going to slow me down a little bit from just <laughs> buying every module I can and filling the whole thing up, because it's like, oh, it won't look so cool anymore if I do that, and maybe I'll save a bit of money. Um, and when that time does come to pass, then yeah, I'll probably just do some, some changes to it, um, and mount the LEDs externally somewhere. Um, but hey, hopefully it'll be a wee while away before, before that time comes. Um, also I've got a couple new modules there. Um, I have the Humble Audio Quad Operator, which is, um, a really cool FM, uh, module. Um, I really enjoy mucking around with that. Um, I got the Vimona Melodizer because I really like um, uh, generative um, melodies and, and this also does melodies and rhythms and you can mix them up. Um, you can hear it playing the, uh, playing the mutable rings uh, in the backing track at the moment and it's um, every now and then it Re, uh, um, yeah, creates a new rhythm and then it'll create a new melody and new rhythm and um, yeah it's good good fun little module um, also got a uh, Mordax data which you can see over my shoulder there super handy um, thing it's a little on the pricey side but honestly I'm, I don't regret buying it because just alone for tuning modules I used to use a guitar tuner but just tuning that is super handy um, tuning with that sorry and um, uh, yeah, the, the oscilloscope on it is great. Um, and I often use it uh, as a clock output or a clock source, 
because um, that's yeah really useful too the only gripe i have about that is that the the clock you yeah it will only run when you have it in clock mode so if you want to have a clock running and then tune some oscillators on the fly or something like that or look at some waveforms uh it will stop the clock um so it would be nice if there was a, an ability to have that running the whole time and maybe there is a way to do that but if there is i don't know about it um, yes, I also wanted to get a sample and hold module because I have been using mutable marbles to try and do that occasionally, but it just never quite worked out the way I wanted it to. And so I got the one from ADAC or ADAC or however you pronounce it. Um, and yeah, that thing is, is uh, for a pretty affordable little module, has a whole bunch of features and yeah, it's, uh, it's a n nice little unit. Um, I also wanted to get a more sort of conventional sequencer as opposed to um, something generative like the marbles and the um, melodizer um, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it um, so I picked up the uh, Behringer 182 um, sequencer the system 100 unit um, and yeah that thing is actually really quite cool um, I've been having a lot of fun mucking around with that um, yeah, I also got a Bifaco ADSR, a little DIY kit, um, and yeah, that's quite nice. It, it's my first, it's actually my first ADSR that isn't from Beringer, and um, it sort of really shows up the, you could argue, the flaw in the Beringer ADSRs, which is that um, at the, the, uh, the short end of your attack and decay uh, functions, it, it's hard to sort of fine tune that. Um, with the Bifaco one, it, it's really nice, uh, and you have quite a good range there, a lot easier to use. Um, and it's nice that it's also vo voltage controlled, um, and I'm, yeah, planning on using that uh, with some, uh, for example, running LFOs to control the length of the decay and the uh, release uh, on the uh, while it's playing some little rhythm. I think that'd be quite nice. Um, yeah, that's about it, with the exception of the Euclidean circles, which I. Um, picked up uh, a few weeks ago it featured in my last video but wasn't used um, yeah I'm gonna make another little video on that in the future um, and yeah because um, I came up with a cool technique on how to with uh, for how to use it and um, also I made a, a front panel for it because I don't really like the, ori the original sort of elite front mounted SMD LEDs on it um, so yeah I'll make a little video about that uh, and finally, I've also pre-ordered, well, pre-ordered, I've ordered, um, back-ordered is probably a better word, a um, uh, IntelliGel Spring Ray 2, uh, which seems to be like the most popular module uh, here in Europe at the moment, because I, yeah, they just seem to sell out everywhere, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that's going to arrive in like three weeks. Um, and I've got a couple of spring tanks to go with it the the um acutronics ones the the large one it sounds really nice it sounds quite large and i've um also got the small one because that thing sounds real sort of like metallic and harsh it's got some some real cool sounds to it the medium one just uh, came across as a little pedestrian to me i might get one and make it as like an external unit which I can fiddle around with with my uh, fingers or something like that that could be could be quite fun um, I mean they're only like 30 35 euros so yeah I might look into that in the future um, yeah uh, I think that's about it for new modules um, yes with actually with those spring tanks I'm going to be probably gonna have to pull this whole thing apart no definitely I'm gonna have to pull this whole thing apart and see if I can mount those spring tanks in there and hopefully that I don't pick up too much interference from the power supplies in there um, I've made a little bit of extra shielding for the big tank I might try and make some shielding for the little one it's kind of a shame they made that case out of plastic um, it's gonna be quite tricky um, I'm not really a sheet metal worker um, but hey, I'll have a go at it if it gets too noisy. And hopefully I'll be able to mount those inside the case because that would be a really uh, elegant solution there. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, um, yeah, um, thanks for watching and uh, take care.